Roxo Media House. Welcome back to Fortitude, everyone. J.W. Wilson, Britton Payne, this guy in between us, Jacques Marquis, President and CEO of the Van Cl- or the Clyburn Foundation, excuse me, uh, who is about to undertake uh, the 16th version of the Clyburn competition. Uh, thank you for being here, Jacques. We really appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Fun to be here. You're, you're on a new set today, a new, trying something new. We are we're sponsored by a bank called Captex Bank. I don't know if you're familiar with Captex, but you should be because these guys are, they're one of the two local banks in town. We love them. They're president. Actually, uh, we talk about how he would text you. You could text him in the middle of the night and he'll respond. Most presidents of banks do not do that. Uh, I, he texted me the other day because one of my, my uh, loan payments was late. He just, he just sent me a text and <laughs> amazing. said, it's amazing. He really does care. What so. I found more interesting is that one of your loan payments yes. was like, this is never happening thing. No. Um, mm-hmm. So, um, Jacques, do you ever have people uh, text you in the middle of the night? Just, oh, can you tell me the results of today? I had to go to bed a little early tonight. Uh, you know, we're part of an international network. Then I'm up sometimes very early in the morning and talk very late at night yes, with yes. some friends all over. Yes. This is Jacques' second visit to Fortitude, so mm-hmm. you're kind of on upper echelon now. The man from Montreal. I lifted the applause uh, from the Van Clyburn. Uh, oh, thank you for letting us part of your uh, crowd. Yep. <laughs> and he informed us to just now that we lost a legendary hockey player from Montreal, Guy uh, Lafleur. Oh, excellent uh, pronunciation. Was, how was the pronunciation on that? Guy Lafleur. Yeah. Oh, is is? No, yeah. no, he doesn't have it at all. <laughs> Every time he speaks, it just sounds better than <laughs> I know. the way we speak. It's, it's, it's great. Just, so. Yeah. Um, 16th uh, Clyburn competition is upon us within, within a month. June 2nd through June 18th is yep. the competition dates. Uh, before we get into that, you had an auditions. You had a grand audition, uh, in person audition for the thirty slots that you filled. Can you walk us through a little bit the, in the audition? Yeah, even going before that, the sixtieth sixtieth um, competition will be the sixtieth anniversary. The Clyburn was founded in nineteen sixty two, and because we postponed from last year mm-hmm. twenty one to twenty two, mm-hmm. then suddenly we are at the mark of sixty years of the Clyburn. Wow. Which is very important. Yes, sir. Um, to answer your question, we received 388 applications from all over the world. What we is talk- that numbers wise compare? Uh, uh, like 100 more than usual. Mm. Then during the pandemic, these young pianists, they practiced a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about 51 countries mm-hmm. uh, all, over the, all over the world. And uh, the, the process uh, to get to 30 then we have a process online first. Then we listen to the 388. We, and when I say we, I hire people way, way competent, you know, pianists and all that. We will listen to Did all your of phone them. ring when he, no. he didn't? And I was going to either. With the cans on headphones or how do we do it? We do it, we watch it and listen or? Yeah, or yeah. Just- it's, uh, it's online. The, the young musicians, they download 40 minutes of music. Okay. On the video, they have to be on the on the camera. The camera has has to be stable. They cannot leave because the problem is: imagine if you have two weeks to do your recordings, then mm-hmm. you do first movement, you come back, you do the second one, you come back. Yeah. It's always good. Yeah, but we want to have one shot for the forty minutes. Then they cannot mm-hmm. do montage. You know? How do you know if they're manipulating? You can't. You get, because 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 we we they have to send one take. Yeah. And that's important. That's what our producers here have asked of us. Yeah, but you're so good. I'm sure it's not a problem. <laughs> then, Never. Then the 388, we cut this to 142. And five jury members went through the 388 and they said, okay, we would like to keep those 142. I have another um, group of jury, five more, who came and listened to 142 and they cut to 72. Okay. Then half and half. No? Yep. And the 72 uh, were invited to Fort Worth at TCU for a week of screening live. It's so important, the live thing, because online, you don't have the, I will say, the the layers of the sound. Mm-hmm. It's it's so, you know, a mic is so close to a piano, yeah. then yeah. you don't have the space. But in a hall, you have this space that's very important for a pianist. 
then and we want to see how they manage also the stress and live audience it's yeah. not the same thing to record mm -hmm. that in your studio mm -hmm. and to be in the you know on the stage yep. in front of jurors who know exactly what you're doing or not mm -hmm. doing average age of the piano player uh it's between 18 and 31 okay uh average was 24.5 i think we had uh it was a very interesting balance of young young ones of 18 and and more uh more um, mature pianist mm -hmm. who decided to do the competition tour a little bit later. That's actually a great point you make because I have a, a note in here. There is an 18-year-old South Korean, a 19-year-old Australian uh, competing against uh, several that are 30 and 31 years old. Is there, is, does the age and the experience come into play when these type of age discrepancies are in the competition? When you see talent, you see, you hear talent, it's talent. Mm -hmm. And talent can, can, can come across differently. Sure. But I think it's it's fair. How many how the same many ice. piano competitors around the world exist? Oh, so many. You know how many international piano competitions out there? Mm -mm. More than five hundred. Oh, really? That's a lot of pianists. But the the Clyburn is one of the top ones in the world, and we attract the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And and then three hundred to seventy two, seventy two. We heard them live at yep. PepsiCo, and suddenly we chose we. The five Drew members chose the last 30. Mm -hmm. And the 30 will go in June, first round, 30 will play. We cut to 18, second round. Right. We cut to 12 for the semifinals. We cut to six to the final round and three big winners. It's very exciting. Let's talk about these 30 really quickly. Yep. Uh, they whittled it down to 30. General, generally speaking, who are these people? Who are these competitors coming from all places across the earth? All places. Naturally, there are strong countries in piano. Yeah. Russia is one of them. Mm -hmm. South Korea is one of them. Of them. Uh, Japan, one of them. We have Americans, naturally. We have Canadian. After that, we have many from other countries. Smallest you know. country. Yeah, yeah, smaller. What's, what's the smallest one, you think? Oh, hold on. I didn't think about that one. Either population or geographic. Um... Like one where you maybe looked at the applicants no, and go, my no, no, God. Austria, Austria being, mid, ah, uh, you know, but the density, you know, Australia has maybe less people. We have enough. The, the guy from Australia and another American are coming from the Clyburn Junior competition. Mm, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. They apply in the first junior and second mm -hmm. junior, and they apply to the big one when they got Starting in the age. Mm -hmm. And they, they made it to the 388. That's really fun. Yeah. Because when we started the junior, we we thought also that um, it was a good way to attract and get people involved with the clabbering in their early age. Mm -hmm. Because the junior is for 13 to 17 years yeah. old. Then, then I was really happy to see them back. And they were really happy to be back. Oh, I can imagine. So you have three Americans, yep. you have six Russians, five Chinese, to name the bigger uh, yep. countries. Of, China. Or, yep. Yep. So like you said. Um, so these 30, they arrive when at Fort Worth? They will arrive like uh, 27, May 27, 28. They all taken care of by host families. And uh, on these first two, three, four days before the competition on June 2nd, uh, they do, some of them are doing school concerts. Uh, not school this year because school is a bit late. Then they will do, uh, do a library. They will go some concerts in the library yep. around Fort Worth. Paying gigs. No, 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 no. They're practicing. Most they pay, of them are practicing. They pay to get here and then you take we care We cover of them? all the expenses for them. On the flight over? On the, the flight over, okay. we cover yeah, yeah. the expense. And the host family are so great to mm -hmm. host them, travel them, feed them, uh, cheer for them. Yeah. You know, this is a unique perspective mm -hmm. over the, the, the month that the host family are behind them all the time. And it's sometimes is it is it kind of a, a hard match where it's like, I have a competition tomorrow. I need to be in bed at 7 p.m. I don't, like, I need, you know, like, it would be hard to stay with the host family. And I'm sure that these people have to rest. They've got a different schedule than most do with the competition coming up. The, the problem will not them to go to sleep. The problem will, will be to, to stop them practicing. Yeah. <laughs> at 12 and 1 in the clock in the morning. That's 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 in the that sounds morning. wonderful, actually. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's a constant mm -hmm. music uh 
piano playing at, at house. That uh, would be a great documentary film, and somebody just like, I'm going crazy with the piano music, you know, <laughs> something like that. Well, tell, tell us what the Clyburn does as regards to the pianos that these host families will be receiving. We, ha we have a, a, a great agreement with Steinway and Son, and, you know, a competition is all about giving the same conditions, the same winning conditions to everybody. Yeah. Then think yeah. that they go to 30 O's families, and some of them as have a, a grand piano and the other one has an upright and the other one has a keyboard, whatever. <laughs> then it's not the same condition. Then for many years now, the Clyburn has this agreement with Steinway <laughs> that 30 pianos are coming from Steinway and we we provide the, thir the host families with yeah. 30 brand new Steinways mm -hmm. that they have at their house for the entire... We don't give them the piano brand. We they, only, they, they take we, grandma's piano, put it, put it out back. I'd like and to volunteer <laughs> uh, for a host. We, then the piano is right there and they practice on the great piano. Yeah. You know? and, and that's one of the unique thing of the Clyburn. I just was thinking about it could be so good promotional if you had a winner, if it was back in the day when keyboard, you know, I won the Van Clyburn and I practice on a Casio CS80 in Britain Payne's house. You yeah, know, that would be a bit like terrible that. actually and yes, not possible. <laughs> yes, it would. And the, these host families, these are all volunteers. There's, there's hundreds of more volunteers that you guys utilize for this for the duration of this competition. It's what what the great things about the Clyburn competition is that the volunteers and the host, all these things are there's so many people playing a role in this. So many people. How many people would you say? Uh, uh, it's about 800, 800 700, people. 800 volunteers for the Clyburn. But the Clyburn was 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 built by volunteers, mm -hmm. you know, in 1962, 1966, yeah. 69, yeah. like volunteers were a big, big part. It's, it's like in the last 20, 25 years, that's only there was like an executive director and a little bit of more staff and all that. Mm -hmm. And now we have a, a, mm -hmm. a, a structure that, that, that embrace both, you yeah. know, but uh, the volunteers are, are great. It makes a, such a difference. And also you have the ownership of the city and the people yep. To the climber, then to know you you know my favorite story. The first day, first second day, I was in Fort Worth going to the Starbucks and ask for a coffee. And after two words of me, they said, "You're not from here, are you?" <laughs> yeah. And I said, "No, no." Then what do you Which do? Which Starbucks was it? That's probably why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they say. What what do you do? I said, oh, I work I work for the Clyburn. and then they said, oh, my mom is a volunteer. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't have that in in this ownership of a, a, a fantastic cultural event yeah. in the world like like this. Well, and think mm -hmm. how much culture comes in with each visiting. The fact that it is in that environment where there's a host and visitor, you think about like just dinner conversation. They're learning about a culture that is completely different from theirs that is being brought right into theirs. Mm -hmm. How'd you start playing piano? What is it like in your country? That kind of thing. I mean, it's a pretty, that's cool. You know? It's fantastic. And, and on the reverse, we bring the eyes of the world. Mm-hmm here yep. to look at what's happening in Fort Worth. So speaking of, can you tell us about that? Like what what that list of events is going to look like as far as the competition goes and some of the things that the have kind the, of grown the important around. thing of the uh, of the competition by itself, the competition is is 18 days and we have like on we have three dark days and we have 15 days of concerts. Mm -hmm. But concerts is one thing, but we try also to get the people involved. Not everybody can can go to a concert and and listen to forty five music of classical music, but mm -hmm. then we we do festival events, and also we do a big big webcast that is uh, a stream all over the world, and we expect this year and to give you an idea of proportion, ten million views over three weeks. In two thousand seventeen, we were in um, one hundred and fifty one countries and 8,500 cities mm -hmm. that was were following the webcast. Yeah. And then this year will be more than that. And uh, and this is what I, I say to the mayor, change cow town, cow town for piano town for three weeks or for a month sure. because yeah. the eyes of the world are following what's happening here yes, through the Clabber. One One small little logo, Jacques. That's all we ask on the webcast to those 10 million viewers. <laughs> just, just a little uh, tiny small, you know, you know, it would, it, not I, much I don't want the, the loan of GW to be late again. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, let's talk, let's talk about these 30 real quick. Yeah. The Clyburn put out a, um, a, something on social media a few, a few months or two ago about the Ukraine situation, the Russian, the war, the, all that terribleness over there. 
there are Russian competitors and there's one Ukrainian competitor, which I just was talking to you before the, we started the show, must reasonably, reasonably must be a fan favorite because he's coming from Ukraine. This guy, Dimitro um, Choni, mm-hmm. he's, he's the singular uh, competitor from Ukraine. But the Clyburn, the neat thing you guys did, which you put out a statement, would you please address that real quick? Is But you're not, it's not about the, the situation. This is about artists. I, but, but, you know, it, it's funny because if you go to the Olympics, you are linked with your flag. You win and you, yeah. this is a win from for Canada or for the U.S. In the case of a, a piano competition specifically, you win the Clyburn, you are a citizen of the world the next day. The flag was never uh, impactful, mm-hmm. you know, the, the nationality, because this is not what they are. Mm-hmm. We are artists, of, they are artists of the world. Then when you look at that, you say, okay, who is the best artist that we have now? Then it can be him, it can be others. And I'm giving my faith to the fantastic jury that we have to find the best musician there. That will, after that, promote the value of international friendship and understanding. It's a great PC answer. Thank you. Yes. How many jurors within the actual competition? Nine jurors. How many keep their eyes closed during the performance? How much is the visual versus audio? Uh, some of them, <laughs> some of them, they average they, eyes closed. Time uh, I will say one juror. or two are closing their eyes, and my job is to really check on them that they are not, <laughs> but they don't. Yeah, and and I'm always impressed by how they are committed. They these jurors are pianists. They are professional pianists mm-hmm. and they've been doing that for mm-hmm. all their lives. It's why I choose them to be there. Mm-hmm. But mostly their attitude, it's that's what's interesting for me, is they're there to to be to be there for the young pianist. They mm-hmm. they're not there to cut their throat. Yeah. And yeah. throat. And they, they're there really to they want them to do well. Yeah. And they have this perspective of saying, okay. I will never play this piece like this, but I can buy this proposal because it's unique and it's its own voice. Mm -hmm. And when a jury can think like this and to be really uh, uh, extremely open minded about the music, I like him or her already. What does some, what, for those who don't know piano music that well, what might an artist do to make it their own? Would they slow down the tempo in a certain part? Would they speed up? Would they play? Stronger it, heart, or it, it, all you know, over the board. It's 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 all over, mm-hmm. and an artist will will find a way to do a piece and to. You have to respect the format. And someone yesterday was talking about the basketball game. Then everybody knows how basketball the format is well established, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean that you put the ball, yeah, the same way every time. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's the format than the piano playing. Do you have composer that you have more flexibility mm-hmm. with and some others less. Right. Mm-hmm. And then and and our artist will will find a way to through the phrasing, the voicing, the 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 way that he he wants to do more more sound, less sound, mm-hmm. the quality of the sound, the quality of the projection how he works with the hall and and to come back to this special edition this year we are going back after 60 years at TCU you know that the the Clabron was born at TCU mm-hmm. in 1962 at Ed Lindreth. Ed Lindreth, that's correct and in 2001 Bass Hall was there then we move all our things in Bass Hall and now TCU has a new concert hall it's the Van Clabron Concert Hall at TCU, a 700 seats hall. Mm-hmm. It's super. I've Acu- been there. Acoustically. Acoustic you, is beautiful. Smaller than a pin drop. I mean, it, like it's a fantastic. feather drop. Yeah. That's how acoustically. Uh, it's so great. Mm-hmm. And and it's going to be interesting for, for my jury member also to listen to the two first round will be at TCU. Mm-hmm. It's piano recital. Mm-hmm. Then then you you have to... Occupy the space. If you play too loud, you will hear it. Mm. Too soft, same thing. Then suddenly, we'll move to Bass Hall, which is a 2,000 seats hall. And a good pianist will also manage the sound to get to the bottom 
of so the you're hall. adjusting and that's yeah. interesting also mm. for the jury as an information mm. then then the the hall will be really interesting for the music but will be really interesting also for the jury to right. see how they manage this because this is this is their their job they will be touring with the Clyburn after they win the Clyburn mm -hmm. and they will change piano all the time. They will change hall all the time. How can they adapt? And that's part of their job and their talent. That's fascinating. So the first two rounds are at Van Clyburn Hall. Yep. The, the second, third, and the final are at Bass Hall. Exactly. Just be, yep. So I'm going to, I'm going to go into a little departure here and I'm going to, I'm going to submit four, are you sure you do four, that? four people <laughs> um, and you tell me who would win the Van Clyburn. Elton John, Alicia Keys, Jerry Lee Lewis, or Liberace. Who who might be the next winner of the 60th anniversary? They, they are they are good. Liberace was a very good pianist. And 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 you know, when you look at videos and you look at the, the jewels bling. that he mm -hmm. had there mm -hmm. and and the speed and the stability of what he's playing, mm -hmm. that needs talent, man. <laughs> Yes, then it does. I will, I will, I will say Elton John is a fantastic musician, and uh, so, so yeah. are the other ways. Yeah, but for, for the Clyburn, I will, I will, I would have chosen Liberace. Did Interesting. you did you steer <laughs> that way because of the fashion? I mean, was there just a little part of you that that just uh, no, no? I don't no, care about straight, the fashion. I'm talking judgment. piano thing. Yes. You know, when I see him doing yes. this. It's yes. really good. Because Elton would have competed with Liberace on fashion, those two guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Maybe, true, true, maybe true. it's more your, your stuff than mine. That was a good question. Well, <laughs> thank you. What, uh, what type of music will we, will we be hearing at the competition this year? And actually, this is a classical music competition. Then, and, and every year, and the Clyburn brings, like I said, they bring the best of the best. And you have to think that you have four rounds. But if you do and... I'll be very Texan now. And if you boo, you have to furbish your ammunition. And if you take your big cannons at the beginning, you may not have nothing at the middle of the, then you have to manage well to have a very balanced programming and also having something that stands out. Now, does that come from a coach saying that? Do they Te have coaches teachers, and say coach and they say friends. hold hold the line like this one, give it to and then they'll come and say, "Jacques, I need you leave nothing. To, uh, give it all on the floor." Like just do they do that? They you know at, at the level they are. Yeah. We're talking here about the best of the best in their fields. Mm. At the level they are, they have a lot of of experience and they've been playing a lot. They, the, when you finish the Clyburn, the one, the six who will finish the Clyburn will have played four hours and a half of music. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of music yeah. to know everything naturally by heart. This mm -hmm. is not the problem, but to really do it. But the way we can see after the semifinal round, the one who can sustain the level of stress and the level of playing. Mm -hmm. Then, but I, I look at the programming; it's pretty impressive. You, he mentioned it a second ago. What the jurors? What what do you think? What is impresses a, impresses a juror most? Because they've heard these pieces hundreds of times yeah. in their life. What, what what stands out to a juror? Is it the the level of play, the the steady, steadiness you just mentioned? I I think it's going to be the 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 proposal, the unique voice. You know, mm -hmm. this is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, then if someone comes and play. For instance, all Chopin program, because that can be the, the clubbing is very open. Mm -hmm. We 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 have an open repertoire. Then they can play whatever they want all the time. Yeah. If someone decides to play Chopin, 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 you have to be really, really, really well mm -hmm. to do this. Yeah. Naturally, they will play. They will show the jury different aspects of their play. I can play defense. I can play offense. Right. I can be. I can be at an, on on on. You know. And that's that's the main, same thing for for mm. a, a musician. He has to show different facets of his playing. What I've noticed when you played here before, this the way you guys play. It, no, no, you, don't say you guys and me. This is not the same. But you're pretty good yourself. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> then go the on. strength, the <laughs> ability to play that loud, but that gently. It's a it's a weird thing. It's there must be an immense finger strength. Are there any exercises you see a professional, like a competitor, you no. know, doing this kind of thing? Or they, you know, they practice four, five, six, seven, eight hours per day. Mm -hmm. If you do this, 
you need first to be, and if you play golf, you know, if you begin to squeeze your 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 your, your golf club too much, and then and you swing at yeah. one point, you know, the the third the second round the next day will be like you yeah. be so stiff. Imagine that you practice piano six hours per day every day. Mm -hmm. Then you have to have a very very smooth and mm -hmm. and easy technique. At the same time, you develop like ex um, accuracy, like yeah, cr yeah. crazy. But the volume levels are yeah. incredible, though. I it's mean, all about the technique. Uh, and even on the softest parts, right? It, it's just, it's kind of like the whole spectrum coming together at once. It's amazing. It's like, it's like it, once again, golf. Look at the really good golfer swinging and mm -hmm. it d doesn't seem to swing hard and the ball goes all yeah. the same thing for yeah. pianists. You can it's use like a hockey same. reference if you'd like. Yeah, I could, so I could, but you know, golf yes. makes more sense sure, here. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, what were the prizes this year for the top three? It's the top three, the first prize winner is $100,000. The second is 50, the third is 25,000, but this is not important. This is money and it's fun. It's fun for them. They can think of buying a piano or, you know, investing in stuff. stuff. But what we do, the Clyburn, we we uh, book concerts for the three winners. And this is priceless because we open doors. Yeah. Then we have a lot of engagements mm -hmm. and they go on tour and we manage them for three years. And this is also priceless. And we do their, their marketing uh bio and pictures and yeah. website and recordings and we we teach them what to say on facebook and what not to post on facebook yeah. and we 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 do more and more for them mm -hmm. for 3 years and and since we opened the door i always say we opened the door the first time you're responsible for the second one well on that do you have any that are like rock stars who can get out there make the performance extraordinary all buttoned up all together and then backstage they just wreck the dressing room you know with just i mean do, have you had i any will not say wreck the dressing room personalities we like have that? personalities mm -hmm. and and there's and this is this is the fun part you know they have their own unique personalities mm -hmm. because you don't get there by by doing everything by the book mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and that's what when you're looking to come back to your question the jury is looking to be like us to be like overwhelmed by someone yeah you know yeah and they, it's not very the jury has n kind of the same look at the young pianist on the stage than the audience has mm -hmm. which is like wow that was so much fun would i like to see him or hear him again okay. the next day nice Yep. Does part of that get to know them in behind the scenes kind of thing? Is there something there's a no, there's no this is straight the, piano. There's this no is. discussion with the jury and okay. The, okay. the the competitors yeah. during the competition. I know where they're staying, so we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there's none. <laughs> oh so, look, JW's here for dinner tonight. <laughs> so Jacques, a uh, couple in the in the news recently lost a few uh really significant people in the classical music world, piano music specifically. Hadou Lupu, the 1966 gold medalist for the Van Cliburn. That was the second competition. He he passed recently. Uh, Joseph Kalikstein, the legendary pianist and, jur and Clyburn jury member in the 05, 09, 13, and 17 competitions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are two monsters in, 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 the, in your world. In can, my can world. Can you speak to them a little bit? Uh, you see, I knew I knew better because we he wasn't the jury when I came here, the first mm -hmm. uh, audition. Fantastic musician, fantas fantastic chamber musician, Fantastic men also. Very interesting to discuss about, you know, hey, Yossi, sh should we do as a competition uh, impose some repertoire? Should we do a chamber music? Should we not do this? Yeah. And love dis discussing with him and all that. And it was, uh, we were so sad for him. Radu was uh, uh, our star for many, many years as the clabber. And uh, interesting, interesting fellow. He came, he played with us uh, in the concert series that we produce every mm -hmm. year. But um, when he won the Clyburn in 66, the people said, okay, we, we're going to book for you some concerts. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, no, <laughs> I'm going back to Moscow. I have to practice. He was a very intense, he was not there for the media. Mm -hmm. He was there for the art mm -hmm. and he went dark for two, three years mm -hmm. practicing because he felt that his, his art was not at yeah. the level he wanted to share yet. Yeah. Right, right. And suddenly you saw him like coming up, coming up in the world. He was one of the most 
interesting, sensitive artist, and and his loss is terrible. Does the Clarence service kind of a reunion for all that? Do the guys, old guys, come back? We, kind of. We, like, uh, we what we like to do is to uh, bring them back for different function, uh -huh. for playing sometimes, yeah. depending. But uh, the first winner, 1962, is Ralph Votapek. and Ralph is coming. Is my jury chairman for the next amateur competition in October. Then Olga Kern, who was the 2001 winner, and recently just played at TCU the opening concert. Then. Um, then no, we uh, we like to bring them back for different yeah projects yeah. But I think it's when good. I when I say Ralph Vol Voltepec, I know it doesn't sound that. so no. It's, it's a he's it, a fantastic when he says it. it the the R, guy sounds the like the R was silent, and then I heard a lot of Alf in there, but I don't know where the R was. It was so far back in the throat, <laughs> Jock. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so you this it takes years and years of planning and organization to get up to the cont contest, which is upon us. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever get nervous? Do you ever? Is it because you've done the hard work's done? I think in your on your side now that guys just come to play, they're here to play. Are you nervous now? Or do you feel like everything's been done? Or when do you get to breathe a little bit? No, we first we have a fantastic team. The Clabber is extremely uh, um, uh, well um, represented on the administrative side, and mm -hmm. we have a fantastic team. And the volunteers also is a big part of make the candidate in the best mood to mm -hmm. play well. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I changed when I came here is to begin on time at the Clyburn, like two o'clock. If it's two o'clock, it's two o'clock. But the dog was barking all night. I couldn't get here. No, 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 no. The candidate's <laughs> never a problem. It's the, 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 it's the donors, is the people buying tickets, oh, sure. being late at the yeah. concert, is the jury members who were talking too much in the jury room and mm. the, the zone, well, don't, you know, they were late. I said, no, no, this is not going to happen because these young kids have been practicing all their life. Yeah, Coming to the Clyburn is an experience of a lifetime. The opportunity of winning the Clyburn can change your life. Yes. Will not make them wait backstage seven minutes because Mr. Wilson mm -hmm. is a bit late mm -hmm. and is a big sponsor. Yeah. No, we will not yeah. do that. We will. Right. Mr. Wilson will wait. At, well, outside the door yeah, and come after. Yes, because once you start, there's no. <laughs> this isn't like your average rock concert where you can walk no, in no, the no. aisles uh, in between. No, sets. no, so you don't. If you're out there listening, don't be the reason your competitor shows up late because there's a lot riding on this. Well, or the big donor or whatever. Yeah, no, no, it's, yeah. It's, it's a time to be on time. We're there for them. Never forget that we're there for them. And this is their mm -hmm. place to shine. Yes, sir. And. That's what we do. Then to answer your question, I'm excited always to do competitions. It's always fun. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to do all the time mm -hmm. from seven in the morning to midnight for a month. We're all in, all all the staff. So all your, the your tennis game and your, your uh, hockey game is suffering right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. My tennis game and my golf. And cooking. And my, you said yeah. you like to cook, right? I do. But yeah, that's, this is not happening now. Well, we like to end the, you since you've been on here once, we've already asked you the best day. So, well, hold, we, oh yeah. Well, do you mind if I get a few last questions? Oh in? yeah. Sorry, we're bumping up against the clock this, here. This thing in front of you is called a script. We usually <laughs> yeah. try to stick yeah. to it, but <laughs> uh, uh, Sundance Square is going to simulcast the event. Yeah, yeah. We're going to simulcast the event. We bring a big, a big screen for the two last concert. Right. And I like it a lot. We did that in seventeen, mm -hmm. and the because the two last, the the four last concert, which if you want to come to the Clyburn, you don't have to miss those. It will be fantastic. The four last concerts, the finals, the two last, um, we decided to put a screen because Basel is full. The tickets will be sold by mm -hmm. then. And it was a way to say thank you to Fort Worth, thank you to the volunteers, and thank you for everybody to welcome this fantastic competition here once every four years. Well, now it's five, but whatever. And um, what what we didn't realize is the plaza came full of people, mm -hmm. families, and then and when they were playing, the plaza was completely silenced. Yeah, people were listening to the music, and at the end, wow, that's cool. That was, yeah. oh, that was so fun. Yeah, that was so super. How can people? Find find this and pay, pay, be part of this competition. Who want to be part of it? Clyburn.org. You have everything. You can you can you can buy tickets. You can uh, see donation. You can sponsor. You mm -hmm. can Clyburn.org is the place to go. 
Okay. All right. If you see the two of us there at the competition and our eyes are closed, it's not because we're sleeping. Yeah. I have a stick for those. You do? Okay, good. I just drive a loud car as loud as I can around the plaza during the (laughs) highlights of the We know people around too (laughs) then. Yeah. I turn off the bass really loud on my vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So so I'm going to ask you something different. If you weren't working this job, because clearly you're a good match for it or a great match, Mm -hmm. some might argue, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh, when I was young, I was in science. Then I was pretty much entering engineering school until I decided to go in music. And my parents were like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, then I decided to go to go in music because it was more difficult Yeah, to it's learn the piano. Yeah. So there's a lot of engineering probably in music, right? There's yeah, a lot of- there's a lot of math mm-hmm. in finance, you yes. know, nonprofit. Yes. Yeah. Always you have to, yeah. to know how to count. Yeah. Then I like math too. Who inspires you, Jacques? Who are some of your inspirational people in your life or mentors? Mentors, I will say my former chairman of the board in Montreal was a singer and uh, a bass who sang all his life at Covent Garden, the big, big opera house in Mm -hmm. London. Um, He was, he passed away two years ago and he was 91, I think. Then, Then when I was working with him, he was like 70, 75 huge career sang with Pavarotti with Maria Callas with name it he, mm-hmm. he was there for 25 years 30 years he was chairman of the board of my organization and if I was calling him for something Joseph you should call JW because I would like him to sponsor us yeah Joseph was taking the phone calling JW and he was calling me back he said Done deal. JW will support. And Joseph, we so Joseph, can I see you at three o'clock? At five to three, he was there, his note all prepared mm-hmm. and always on. And he was a good golfer mm. and a hockey lover. Oh, then nice. I said, This man was the, the most cl- the closest to what I like and because you can do a lot of good things in a good way. And he was such a gentleman. That's awesome. It sounds a lot like you would be a good climber and competitor. No doubt. He was he was a fantastic artist. Well, Jacques, we wish you luck. We're going to be there. We are very excited. The city is ready for this. Finally, one year removed from co- the, the COVID stuff. Best of luck for the competition. We can't wait to see what happens. But Thank you. We appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Be, Thank you, Captex Bank as well. Thank you, Captex Bank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Or two, or, 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 or,